What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. I'm Ross the Boss. Thank you for joining me. So today, we are basically uh, just trying our best to... Uh, we have so much money, I'm not even sure who we're going to colonize. I think what our, our best bet is to try to declare war on Sweden here. And uh, maybe control bits and pieces of Denmark while also, uh, you know, <laughs> basically tearing apart their navy. Looks like we also have Glory Road. This is a promising land, gaining one base tax in Barracoa. Which I believe is down here. No, where is Barracoa? It's most likely wherever we are exploring. Now, I believe our goal again is to basically declare war on Spain. Obviously, in the last episode, uh, they... Uh, annexed all of Aragon. They are most likely going to annex all of Naples, but luckily we have taken over quite a bit of their territory. We're weakening them as much as we can. I'm hoping that Morocco declares war on Spain and that uh, somehow we can take over Seuss and then uh, annex bits and pieces of territory. Wow, this is a powerful heir. Uh, how old is he? And then we could basically annex bits and pieces to Seuss. Uh, how old is our heir? Two years old, uh, but nonetheless, we don't have a queen, but nonetheless, we are going to make our king into a leader. A 104, not bad, but uh, could be a lot better. Still a little worried about these rebels. We should be able to take them out in time. We are losing money, basically due. Our colonies are costing us quite a bit. I think our advisors, man, they're not even costing that much. Maybe it's our army maintenance. I'm not too sure. We would make a lot more money if we had more merchants, um, but we are going to be funneling trade up into the north as quickly as we can, all the way to the English Channel. So possibly uh, getting my annexation of Flanders going. It's going to be quite some time until that happens, but we should be able to secure more and more trade here inside of the English Channel. It's not much. Uh, we're going to gain about 12 trade power. Uh, what we really want is Brabant. And, of course, uh, East Frisia. We have 15, 55% trade power. And it looks like Brabant is the next most powerful. And there are some pirates here inside the channel. Um, there are disloyal estates. Obviously, there... Ooh. Let us grant new charters. <laughs> Ask for contributions. I get that they're going to be upset. But because I can take money, I might as well. Uh, I have 802 ducats and really nothing to spend on. After we deal with all of these rebels, we are most likely going to sail all the way up to either Norway or Sweden. I think we're going to go after Sweden and uh, basically just take a bunch of territory from Sweden and, uh, you know, perform pretty well. Gaining two mercantilism, which is 200 trade uh, diplomatic power for free at the cost of 10 legitimacy. Gaining a royal marriage with Austria. We still don't have a queen. Uh, but we're working on it. We have six of six diplomatic relations. I'm sure we could uh, gain a royal marriage with Brittany. They don't want one because we have no diplomats. They're disloyal. And Flanders would like one. Let us... Uh... <laughs> we don't really have the, uh, the diplomats to do it, and I don't want to revoke any. Let us go ahead and get our army maintenance all the way up and running. We need high morale. I'm not sure where these are going to spawn. Castilian Separatists. Somewhere around here, though. I think what we could do is uh, improve the autonomy in these regions. One, two, three, and four. And now move these troops up to Galicia. And so basically, no matter where they spawn, we can easily take them out. It's probably going to be somewhere in these four areas. Here they come. And like I said, I really hope that Morocco here takes over these two uh, provinces. There's only 14 development, but it would make it easier for me to take out Spain. Here comes 18,000 or 16,000 more troops. Royal marriage with Flanders, sure. Did Brittany want a royal marriage? No, because they're disloyal. What if we placated local rulers and then asked for a royal marriage? No. They're going to be not disloyal in a moment. Waiting until next month. Uh, <laughs> not too much I can do. Explore. 
And but what is nice is you can see here that Spain and uh, Portugal are obviously already starting to work on the new world. Going to make it a lot easier for me to colonize and convert. I'm taking 50 ducats. Of course. And also, we can finally unlock our very last exploration idea, giving us 25% more naval force limit, which means we get a 25% bigger navy. We have completed the sick and the hurt, and uh, gaining another leader for free. So we are completely done with our English ideas. I think for the rest of the game, we're going to work on possibly administrative ideas. Uh, poss <laughs> saving us a lot of admin uh, is going to be very, very helpful in the long run. We have 90% uh, Castilian Rebels, Royal Marriage from Brittany. We have a 023 Queen Consort from Burgundy. But uh, I really would like Edward of York to take over. I'm gaining some prestige. And another thing I need to go ahead and do is start building some spy network up against Sweden. They are in a war, uh, so now would be an opportune time to strike. Who are they allied with? Poland. Poland and Lithuania, most likely. Well, it's going to be tricky no matter what we do. <sighs> we have explored the coast. Protecting trade against... The... Uh, wow, not protect trade. We need to explore. I could actually declare war on Portugal. I don't know why I haven't. They're in a war with three different countries right now. I like military thinkers. Another thing we need to do, once we actually gain our colony here inside, uh, you know, north, uh, inside Canada, we probably want to start working on the Caribbean, taking over a variety of islands, or at least giving us the ability to park here inside the Caribbean with our fleets. 29 months to convert Maine back to Catholic. A lot of our colonies are almost finished up, so in the meantime, let us take you, recall, and I suppose we could start working here on Jamaica. Uh, that way, at the very least, we'll have the ability to basically sail all the way throughout the uh, Caribbean. And of course, we are going to be starting to work on our colonies here in the Caribbean as well, and making sure they don't get stolen. Vatican infiltration. Uh, five papal influence, of course. Do I want a free stability? I think I do. Giving us some additional national, uh, some taxation, some additional, uh, aggressive expansion reduction. We have, uh, some rebels and finister. Can we begin our annexation of Flanders? Yes, we can. I believe we should start. 276 is expensive. Looks like Brabant and Saxony are at each other's throats. And you know what? Declaring war on Portugal would not be very hard. And But I think my issue, though, is do I really want all of these provinces? Not yet. So I think I'm going to wait until uh, Portugal takes a little bit more provinces. You know, I could easily take one, two, three, four. Uh, I think there's five here. Five provinces uh, for very, very cheap. As they colonize more, that means they're going to be spending money, and I will need to. But nonetheless, uh, I could take over bits and pieces of their capital. But is that really what I want to do? I think my best bet will be to sail to Sweden. We still haven't dealt with these uh, rebels. Let us throw down a claim on Cola. I want you. And I think what I want to do is basically prevent Muscovy from growing too far. We've completed one of our missions. Converting Maine to Catholic is what we're doing. Establish a colony in North America. Uh, for five years, we would get more settler chance, so I think that's what we'll do. Still waiting on the rebels. I think we might just go ahead and improve autonomy in these areas. Uh, we're not making much money from them anyway. And now all of you will head up to Sweden. Do I want to go ahead and produce more trade ships? I think I do. I would like about 12. Two hundred and forty-four ducats. All of you will be produced here in Essex. 
We are now up to 76. I think I'd like 12 more to put some in Bordeaux. But, you know, part of me is uh, we're not making very much money as it is. What I want to do is put some in Bordeaux. And I was thinking about putting some here in the Baltics as well. I get that we don't have much trade power. But whatever we conquer, it could easily flow into Lubeck. And then, of course, into the English Channel. And you know what? As we declare on Sweden, it might be a good idea to uh, take some of these estuaries. Pomerania owns that one. And even Danzig. <laughs> Dan okay. Pomerania is going to need to fall. But that's fine for now. Muscovy is a very powerful ally. We are continuing to go s grow stronger and stronger while the rest of the world uh, continues to fight each other. French Separatists in Maine. And now these units are going to make their way over here, I suppose. Some more rebels inside Maine. Let's give you King Henry. I have no idea if we're going to win. Looks like we are. <laughs> and it's gone quite well. Let us throw down a claim somewhere here inside uh, Spain. We already have one on Zaragoza, so we might as well try to gain Rusillion. Hire the military engineer for 40 military power. Or, excuse me, 90 ducats for 40 power. We are very close to maxing out as well. Any moment now, we will throw down another claim on Sweden. And where do we want to go? Um, possibly Norgeland. Recalling you. Yikes, cancel. Recalling you. Everybody is prepping and they are getting ready to go. Let's activate all of our forts. There's going to be a war any moment now. I just don't know when or where. I think uh, part of me would like to destroy Norway and vassalize them. I would get a lot of really cheap provinces for half the price, but they're not very strong. Um, I, you know what? I think what we'll do is we'll declare on Norway, vassalize them, and then we will instantly declare war on uh, Sweden. So that way, Norway will get these four territories for very, very cheap, and then whatever we take from Sweden, we'll probably take the rest of these as well. We have maximum manpower. Norway is allied to Ragusa, Austria. Yikes. Uh, well, we're not declaring on Norway. Let's uh, recall you. Let's see if Austria would even join. I think they would. Yes, they would. So we are going to be declaring on Sweden here. Austria does not want to join. Muscovy does, and so does the Papal States. So, uh, sure. I don't think we need the Papal States, but they could easily... Well, ooh, Friesland. Vassalizing this country would be very nice. But I think we need to, uh, bite our time. Or bide our time. Savoy not joining in is good. We're gonna probably go for this province. Because I don't want, um, you know, there being a big, uh, issue with Muscovy. I am not promising them any land, but we are going to sail on down. Uh, where are all of my troops? You, oh yikes, we should have sent some troops to blockade the ports. You will go here. And then looking for the rest of our troops. You are going to be Bordeaux. And it looks like we're still waiting on you. You are going to most likely be Lubeck as well. All of these troops will uh, make their way to the war goal. All of you will make your way down. And then I suppose these guys will make their way down as well. The more that we conquer of Denmark, the better off we will be. And I feel like these troops should basically camp out here. 
these are transports. You can go here. Um, yeah, so far so good. We are about to own the war goal, so therefore accumulating a ticking war score. Let's move on down. I would like to start sieging down this castle. And it looks like uh, we're performing very well. Sweden has their hands full. It looks like Lithuania and Poland are against me as well. I don't know why I didn't notice Poland joining in. <laughs> but still, we're doing very, very well. These units can make your way over, I think. And it looks like Lubeck owns this little island. Cardinal Minister, once again, we will take the prestige. We have had a maximum amount of military power for quite some time, and we, are, we failed to realize... Let's find some provinces, uh, preferably something pretty high. Let's boost you up to 20 uh, power. Let's boost uh, some of these other areas up as much as we can. Boosting you to 20, and I think we're good for now. I believe I would like to build a barracks here. And building another barracks. <laughs> and Alan Khan, but it wasn't really useful. Okay. I don't know if this is their capital. I believe it's Stockholm. Here it is. And uh, everything's going well. Our war, our war participation is 30% while Muscovy has 60%. They uh, might try to get a separate piece sometime soon. They're uh, fending off the brunt of this war. We, of course, are not necessarily making as much money as I would like. But as we begin to establish our colonies, it should go up, up, and up. Sending you in over here, or better yet, you. <laughs> are gonna go like this. There we are. All of these castles being sieged down. Everything going according to plan. We have finished one of our colonies. We now have a free colonist. Let's continue to work on Canada. And do we have a free? So we have one colony. Let's recall you. And I want... We have two colonists. Now we have an extra. You are being sent here. And now you are being sent here. So as long as I can continue to colonize around the coast... We should be, uh, you know, fairly well off securing most of Canada. And the Gulf of St. Lawrence, 15% autonomy inside Vizcaya. We have integrated all of Flanders. Very good news. Now we have six units that we have nothing to do with. These two ships can be destroyed. And I think we might try to uh, just outright vassalize all of Brabant. I have no idea if it's going to be possible. They have eight different provinces <laughs> so it's probably not going to be uh capable i would like to vassalize friesland though uh, i know a lot of people would hate me but austria would wouldn't mind let's improve relations with bohemia i don't want them uh, going against me brunswick is going to hate me no matter what but let's try to improve relations uh recall did i ever fabricate my claim i think i did nope uh, let us fabric. We already have one on Zaragoza. I want one on Rusillian. I think I already did that as well. So oh, you know what? I don't. I can't claim that. Let's go with uh, Perineo. Okay, recall you. And I think the very first thing I'm gonna do is improve relations with a variety of countries like Bavaria. You know, the, the less people joining in against me, the better off I will be. Okay, friends in need. Uh, Brittany wants help. No, thank you. Brittany is a vassal and nothing more. About to take over one of our first castles. Looks like we did. 
Let's march you on Stockholm. You go to Kalmar. We are uh, going very, very far into enemy territory here without really getting any reinforcements. Encourage the Encomendia system. Local goods produced. Well, anyway, we are going to have to put a cut in here. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in our next adventure.